Howdy fellow Kerbinauts, Abranium here. Welcome back to another KSP challenge episode. Today we'll be doing an extreme ballistic entry, descent, and landing on EVE without a heat shield. Our intrepid Kerbal will survive EVE EDL at 60 km periapsis and 5 km per second entry velocity. Yowza! Oh, and he'll land safely with no parachutes too. No hacks. <laughs> this is a stock mission, recorded start to finish in a single take with no quick saves. Let's get into it. EVE EDL is hard enough when we're allowed to use heat shields. For this challenge, we have a maximum of 30 parts. We're also not allowed to use parts from the thermal or payload tabs, so we need to get creative. It turns out we'll find our solution in the most unexpected of places. A flag. That's right, a boring old very low mass flag will help us exploit an odd quirk in the KSP physics engine. Despite their tiny mass, flags can be used to avoid almost all the normal re-entry heating. And EVE is well known for its extreme upper atmosphere. Yet somehow we'll pierce through the punishing veil using only 20 parts. We can't start in orbit with the cheat menu either. The challenge demands we get to EVE and perform the landing using less than 30 parts, including the launch from Kerbin. Fortunately, there's a combination of parts enabling us to use a single Pollux engine for a smooth, stable ascent. Next, we have a vacuum engine and a fuel tank. With this, we circularize before charting a course to EVE. We'll use a single burn in Kerbin orbit to achieve an EVE encounter. Then we'll do a mid-course burn to bring our periopsis down into the atmosphere. From there, we watch a lot of in-flight movies while we wait. Once we enter EVE's influence, we need to bring the orbital energy down. While flags are quite effective in avoiding re-entry heating, they don't seem to be quite enough to sustain an interplanetary aerobraking maneuver. After bleeding off about one kilometer per second of excess speed, we jettison our engine and begin our descent. As Jeb crosses the 90 kilometer threshold into Eve's upper atmosphere, his Contiki craft is moving about 5 kilometers per second relative to the rarefied gas of the atmosphere. Any normal craft without a heat shield would instantly explode, yet somehow a small cluster of flags stapled to the roof is enough to survive the inferno. Mark Watney style. By placing the flags upwind of any other parts, they bear the brunt of the heating. They protect the air brakes, even though the air brakes extend beyond the clipping bounds of the flags. Weird, right? <laughs> With this configuration, we can take advantage of deployable aerodynamic surfaces to brake, but somehow they're protected against the brutal heat. Oh, and they also absorb a fair amount of the landing impact. Without parachutes of any kind, our pilot lands safely in the ocean. And the flags don't even break. It's kind of amazing. Well, that's all I have for you today. You can find a link to the craft file in the description if you'd like to try it for yourself. And remember, next time you need a heat shield on the cheap, just slap a flag on it and maybe that's enough. Whatever you do, good luck out there.